welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Des and I make beauty and lifestyle videos on this channel. Today's video is going to be a, a more natural cut crease, the look that I'm wearing right now, using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Here's what it looks like. I have really, really been enjoying this palette. It is just super, super gorgeous. And I'm so happy that I invested in it and that I was able to find it. I have actually never done a cut crease before. Today is the first time that I will be doing one and it did end up coming out super natural looking just like I wanted it to. Um, for my next cut crease, I will obviously try and um, make it a little bit more intense, but I definitely love the way that the look came out. Um, if you guys enjoy these type of tutorials, then please let me know in the comments. I will try and make more of these types of videos in the future. But without further ado, if you would like to know how to get this look, then please just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I brought you in as close as I could. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is my first time trying this, so you guys are just going to have to bear with me. And I'm going to be like trying to look in a mirror at the same time, so just try and, like I said, bear with me as I figure out like this whole how I want to do this. But anyways guys, the first thing I'm going to do is take the shade MFEO, this one right here. And that is called MFEO, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm going to really try and focus that in my crease um, rather than putting it like above or below my crease, but I'm really going to try and get right in my crease with this shade. So like I said, really trying to get just in that crease. And if you have hooded eyes like myself, I don't have super prominent hooded lids, but I do have hooded lids and it, when you're putting the colors in your crease, it's okay to go a little bit above that just because with hooded eyes, it's kind of hard. Your lid tends to get hidden, so if you go a little bit above that, then it will help to bring out the colors that you put in your crease. And I am just going to work on this one eye and then I'll do this eye uh, second that way, just that way I'm not going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, and I'm sorry, that brush was the Wet n Wild. It's just like the basic Wet n Wild white brush. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have anything on it, but it's just like, a, I'm pretty sure it's just called a crease brush and it's like two bucks from Wet n Wild. Next, I'm going to take this brush from Furless. Um, I think it's Furless Cosmetics. I got it. I just got this brush in my Ipsy bag and I really like it. It's the ME3 and this is what it looks like. I'm going to take this shade right here in the palette and this is called Butter. You know, even more in my crease and in my outer crease now. So I'm going to take it like right here and then I'm going to just keep it in my crease, but focusing it more towards the outer crease. And I do want to start trying to get a little bit even darker now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Jax in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And it is the dark maroon shade. It's like a dark reddish brown shade. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm going to use my Glamour Dolls brush. I'm not sure which one this is. Again, it's an Ipsy it's an Ipsy bag brush uh, and that I really, really like. But I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to really, really try and focus this more so on my outer on the outer part of my eye and just taking a little bit into the crease. But really trying to focus that on the outer part of the eye. So as you can see, I have it down now and I really just wanna pack a lot of that color on and then go in with a different brush and blend more into the crease. I'm going to take the first brush that we were working with, which is that Wet n Wild brush and I'm just going to blend out this, um, all of this like darker color now. Alright, so now that I have this all blended out, I'm going to start with the concealer part of everything. Um, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, it's my favorite concealer, and it works really, really well. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand, and I'm going to take the smallest, little, like, most precise brush that I have, and that one is, I think this is from, I want to say this is from Coastal Scents, and it's the brcs one brush, and it looks like this. It's literally like the tiniest little brush. Um, and I always use it to carve out my eyebrows, so for this, I figured this brush would work perfect for this. So I'm going to get this brush nice and full with the concealer on both sides of the brush. 
so that it's kind of like a nice and full on both sides and I'm going to just start carving out um, my lid area and I'm going to like probably do this kind of off camera just because I really need to focus on it but basically all I'm doing is I'm going to carve out up until like my crease kind of um, turns into my lid I guess so just making like a definite line where basically the white of my eye is left so as you can see I have that all carved out now and I will just kind of close my eyes and come up a little closer so you can see kind of what I did I did end up going a little bit higher than I intended to just because I thought I wanted you know whenever my eyes are open and talking I kind of still want you to be able to see that like cut in there this isn't like a super intense cut crease obviously just like a super like really casual I don't want to mess it up and so what I did was I did that with my, uh, I carved out with my Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer and then I took the shade in light in the Jaclyn Hill palette, it's the lightest color, and I just kind of set my lid with that. But now I'm going to go on top with another more intense like glitter, glittery shade. So I am going to take the shade Little Daddy in the Jaclyn Hill palette and it is this really pretty like rose gold, um, rose gold pinkish color. and. I'm going to put that all over my lid and I'm going to take my little elf brush for this to pack on the color this is the elf I don't know which one it is it's another one of the like it's just a, one of the basic elf brushes um, and it's nice and little so that way I can really pack on that shade and I'm just going to put that right on top of where I had the concealer on my eye I'm really gonna try and pack this color on because I really want it to pop And I just remembered something, a little bit of advice. When you are putting on your concealer and carving out that area, do not open your eye because the concealer will transfer from your lid to your crease before, so don't open your eye before you set your concealer. All right, I'm sorry that this is like the world's most basic cut crease ever. You can't even really tell it's a cut crease, but I really just wanted to try it out and it's really not that hard. It's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now, as you can see, I have like this harsh, like you know crease going on on this area you can kind of see my line so I'm just going to take that first brush that we were working with that um, wet and wild brush and I'm going to take the first shade that we were working with which was MFEO and I'm just going to blend that area out so that way I don't have like that super like intense line right there so as you can see that's just blending out real nice and easy I'm going to take that second shade we were working with as well, which was Butter. And I'm just going to kind of just place that on the outer area as well. And last but not least, I'm going to take my Wet and another just Wet and Wild flat brush, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone using the shade in Light once again. This color gives you like such a intense and gorgeous um, brow bone highlight. So that is the completed cut crease um, tutorial for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye and then I'm going to come back and finish out the rest of my eye look with you guys. All right guys, so I just finished up both eyes and I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my eye makeup. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on camera with you guys. Uh, that way you can see kind of what I do to complete the eye look. I'm sorry that my hair is like all frizzy and crazy, guys. Um, have not yet to do that yet. But first, I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24/7 eyeliner, and this is in this is just in black. I'm not sure if it's, there's a shade. Oh, it's called it's in the shade Perversion. So I'm just going to put that in my waterline. And then I'm going to take just a real like tiny uh, little crease brush and I'm going to take the darker shade the dark the Jax shade out of the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to just line or I'm going to put that down here on my waterline I'm going to try to make it not look too intense because I don't want like a super intense eye look I still want it to look natural but I do want something down there And next I'm going to take some mascara and I'm going to take my Tarte Lash, uh, no, 
Lights, Camera, Lashes Mascara, and this is just a little sample size, but this is, I'm really, really loving this mascara right now. And as you guys tell, I'm not doing any winged eyeliner or any eyeliner on the lid at all, just because I don't really don't want to take away from the like natural cut crease that I do have going on. I just want to keep it like super just natural and uh, I don't want to add too much to the look. But I'm going to put that mascara on top and bottom. And last but not least, I'm going to take some lip gloss on my lips. I'm going to use the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint, and it's just another little sample size. This is in the shade... I have no idea what shade this is in, but it's like a really pretty, like a darker pink. It almost matches the eyeshadow that we put up on our lid. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know in the comments. And if you would like to see more looks like this, or more makeup looks, um, and you guys have any requests for makeup looks that you would like me to do, then please let me know in the comments. I would love to do them for you. I was hoping to get a Halloween makeup tutorial up. I don't know if I will get that up, but... Um, if I don't, then I will definitely have some more makeup tutorials for you guys coming in the future. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!